Okay, um, I, so I got down here, and I, you know, I was thinking I was going to, like, okay, I'll do DMM, I'll do, um, LCR T4, testing some of these, you know, I think it's like 10 bucks for 40 of these resistors, um, I actually, I thought they were going to be shipped local, so they'd come quicker, but I'm guessing they, they didn't, they came from overseas, but anyways, um, 75k I, I measured the first two and they're showing like this one is showing 73.9 73.6 some of that was showing like 72 something to 73.5 and so i was like i happen to like measure some of this and i measured with that first and then those 73.5 and 73.9 or something six whatever it was i measured back on this one and they measured about the 74.6 and a 74.9 so it's like, okay, cool, it rounds up. The, I use those ones, but there's a couple of them. They're a little lower. Um, anyways, um, so I didn't do that, but I soldered them in. Um, this machine, I put the noise suppression new one on the cap, uh, new, new cap on the motor, and then on the board, of course. So I replaced those two, and um, which I kind of wonder now, this one looks a little broken, but I don't know if it's really... Blowing up quite yet, yeah, but it's not gonna focus on. It's not focusing, is it? There we go. Yeah, there's like a little crackage I think going on. Yeah, it's crack going on. It's quite blown up yet, but they're old, so it should be replaced or just not installed. And I'm like looking at my inventory. I'm like, oh man, I only got two left now. So, um, technically that board I need to replace the one. I should at least on the board, if not the motor. And that one, of course, the board. Um, oh, that one I did replace the motor one. This one I haven't done. So I really should have one more or um, maybe I won't on the motor. Put the noise suppression cap in. I didn't do the uh, 4700 picofarad ones. I figured they look close enough. And mainly the resistors were so out. I, I wound up just putting those in. I kind of spaced them a little bit apart, too, to get more air. So, I already turned on, but I, I as I turned on, I'm like, oh, duh, why, how come I haven't started videoing yet? So, I turned on. Seems good. Um, I got to go read, because I already forgot all these different stitch settings, because there's a couple different uh, variations with the numbers on, and, or stitch widths. I, they, say, they say width or length. And so those dots, they kind of throw me off a little bit. I'll just do a quick straight stitch and just double check to see how she's doing. I probably should probably hold the, let's see, can I do this with the pedal? Get a couple. Oh, man. Let's see. Uh-oh. Pedal control's not going to, she's not working. Something went funky. Something else is bad. Huh. Wonder what that is. Wouldn't it be down? Wouldn't be that would just be the stitch. Huh. So this pedal's not working. I don't think I tested it before with this pedal. Let me I'm gonna pull the other pedal out just to double check. Okay, well I'm totally guessing here and I'm no an expert at this. I'm guessing there's two things. I was a little worried, and I was just testing continuity. Some of these traces um, where the resistors are removed, if those got really hot, I wonder if they could have melted solder and blobbed. And I went with the, um, uh, before I put it together, the uh, scribe. And because I, I noticed that when I was, and I didn't test continuity before I put together the test. That I could see, you know, there's these really fine gaps between these traces. And this is really not my, you know, favorite board layout. But I was kind of wondering, like, in there, right in there, you know, kind of going around there, um, where the leads were, kind of area um, where the resistors were. And another thing, too, is I didn't test these capacitors I put in. 
So I don't have my capacitor tester down there. I have to bring that. Oh, wait, what am I saying? I got the LCR meter down here. Well, so I guess I just remove them. So, I, I, yeah, I don't really have to test and circuit a good instrument. It's one of the next tools to get um, to do in circuits um, cost effectively testing. I don't have really right now. So I guess I could remove the capacitors and then test the ones I have just to double check and make sure they measure um, correctly because I don't really know exactly how old those reflows are. Even if not used, maybe they go bad. I don't know. I just checked the fuse. Basically what I saw is the pedal controller not initiating the motor to drive. And I can test the windings, make sure the windings are still good. The contacts I had cleaned prior, and when it last stopped working, technically when I unplugged it, it was on its own running. So my guess is that it was working okay. It's something that I did soldering back on. So I'm wondering more now, I think about it, if I, if, if I might have. Um, or prior, maybe there's a, a short, which kept the... Uh, regardless of the pedal control, kept the machine going. Um, and what I just did was left something open that I thought was supposed to be scraped in between and maybe, uh, oops, was actually supposed to be um, shorted out. So I don't know. So I'll take a look at the other two boards and see what those show because technically that board's good so probably I should pull that one out that board's supposed to be good I mean the video shows it was working but man is this one just blown up and I I'm amazed I guess I'm guessing that capacitor um, didn't short and it was uh, open when it blew so that's why that one's still working where this one I'm guessing shorted um, and maybe that's why it stayed on. So, um, yeah, so, hmm, that's all I can think of. So I'll have to take a look at a little more. I'm going to stop the video now and, um, see what I find out later. Take care, be safe, and bye for now.